Captain Gill. Nice to have you aboard. This is my first officer, Mr. Smarts. Greetings. <laughs> and this is our ship's dog, Space Bubble Puppy. <laughs> Mr. Smarts. Yes, Captain? Let's listen to some music. Aye, aye, Captain. You have no music. Captain, all of the music files are gone. Gone? What do you mean? There appear to be no songs in the ship's computer. Captain, you're receiving an urgent transmission from the Galactic Bubble Station. It's the president of the galaxy. On screen. President Fuzzyfish. Captain Gill, the big mean robot Major Bummer and his army of lobster bots have returned. He's already destroyed all the music, songs, and musical instruments on almost every planet. And he's not going to stop until there isn't any music left at all. But without music, the galaxy would be a terrible place to live. Everybody loves music. <laughs> You've got to see if you can find some music, any music, left in the galaxy. And you must protect it from Major Bummer at any cost. Yes, Mr. President. Good luck. No music in the entire galaxy? That's really messed up. I'm afraid that President Fuzzy Fish was right. There is no longer any music in the galaxy. Oh no! Just a moment, Captain. Sensors indicate that there is a very faint signal coming from the faraway planet of Unicornica. I believe that it might be music. <laughs> Space Bubble Puppy hears something. It's music! <laughs> Major Bummer must not have found this planet yet. We've got to get there before he does and save that music. Set a course for Unicornica, Mr. Smarts. Captain, we've arrived at Planet Flora. My trashometer says there's a lot of trash in that ring. On screen. Space Wowzers! It's worse than I thought. Recycling officers, you know what to do. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Keep an eye out for litter bugs. So officers Molly, Gill, and Zuli hurried away to collect the trash and recycle it. Okay, prepare to collect and recycle. Ready. <laughs> and I'm ready to sort it. Starting the recycling process. Plastic, cardboard, trash, plastic, cardboard, trash, plastic, cardboard, trash, plastic, plastic, trash, plastic, plastic. It's coming trash, in too fast. Plastic. I can't slow it down. There's just too much of it. Ooh, ah, ooh, we need your help. Quick. We need to sort the recycling from the trash. If you see this symbol, it can be recycled. Which of these has the symbol on it? The soda can or the banana peel? That one, the soda can. Right, metal can be recycled. Which of these can be recycled? The newspaper or the glass jar? They both have the symbol. You got it! Paper and glass can both be recycled. Thanks for your help. And plastic. We did it! Recycling process complete, Captain. Great! Any sign of the litter box? Nope. No sign, Captain. Okay. See you on the bridge. We're farmers. Space farmers. Once upon a time, there were two space farmers who were getting ready to take their fruits and vegetables to the market far, far away on another planet. Those apples sure look delicious. So do these carrots. Let's get them to the market while they're still nice and ripe. Ripe means ready to eat. 
ripe apples are delicious. But before they were ready to go... <laughs> uh, Farmer Nani, what's that smell? I don't know, Farmer Gobi, but it sure doesn't smell ripe. It smells... Rotten! <laughs> Guess who's back? Rotten, rotten tomato. tomato! That's right. And I'm going to make your apples all rotten. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I'm going to make all your fruits and veggies rot. Let's get out of here! Phew! That was close. We better deliver our produce before Rotten Tomato turns it all rotten. Produce means fruits and vegetables. So the farmers hurry to deliver their fruits and vegetables the farmer's market on Produce Planet. Here's the lettuce. And here are the oranges, perfectly ripe. <sniffs> Not again. Rotten, rotten tomato. tomato! Time to rot and roll, dudes. My lettuce. My oranges! <laughs> Let's get out of here before he makes everything rotten. <laughs> I think we lost him. Farmer Nani, prepare to jump to super space. Space Supermarket ahead, Farmer Gobi. And so, the space farmers went to the Space Supermarket to deliver their produce. We have to put everything in the right places. Green vegetables go here. And radishes are red, so they go here. Warning! Rotten Tomato approaches. It's found us! We need your help to match the last of the vegetables with the right color before Rotten Tomato gets here. These are the eggplants. Do they go here or here? Are you ready to hear about today's routine? Yes, Mr. Space Grouper. Okay, the next part of your routine is... Beep, boop, boop. Free play. You may choose any area to play in. Boop. Yay! Free play is awesome. What do you want to do first, Space Student Gil? Let's build a castle, Space Student Molly. Okay. We need your help. Which area should we choose to build our castle? The dress-up area, the block area, or the art area? Where can we build? Blocks. The block area. Right. We can build our castle with blocks. So the space students built a big, tall castle out of blocks when suddenly... Space blocks. Space blocks. Space blocks. Space blocks. Space robots! Where did he come from? I don't know. But let's go do something else for free play. Okay. What do you want to do instead? Let's draw pictures. Whoa! 
We need your help to find a place where we can draw pictures. Should we choose the dress-up area, the block area, or the art area? Where can we draw? Art! The art area! Yeah! We can draw pictures in the art area. No matter what you do, there will always be music in the galaxy. Oh yeah? I don't hear anything. It's not music players that make music. People make music. Music comes from inside each and every one of us. And always will. <sighs> Take her away. Take them all away. Put them in a timeout forever. Thing you ever heard. What's that? Where is that music coming from? You know the dance and all of the moves. You can even sing every word. The music's in the air. It's playing everywhere. You can't escape the melody. So come on, dance with me. and find out what's making that sound. Hey! My flashlight's gone. Gone? Wh what do you mean, gone? How could your flashlight just disappear? My flashlight's gone too. So is mine. We can't go camping without our flashlights. You still have your flashlight. Help us find the moon bear. Hold your flashlight out. Ready? Flashlight on. Do you see him? There he is! You found him! And he has our flashlight! Thanks for your help! Excuse me, Moon Bear. May we have our flashlights back, please? <coughs> please let me have our flashlights, Moon Bear. We need them. <coughs> yeah, it's dark! Mm -hmm. Don't you like the dark? That's it! The moon bear took our flashlights because he's scared of the dark. It's okay to be scared of the dark, moon bear. You just need a flashlight of your own. Mm -hmm. You can keep one flashlight, moon bear, but you have to share the others with us. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
I think he feels better. Would you like to camp out with us tonight, Moon Bear? Mm-hmm. Yay! And so the Moon Scouts and the Moon Bear sat by their moon campfire and roasted... Moon Marshmallows! Here we are on the moon. Now, which way to the movie theater? According to my calculations, the movie theater is all the way over on the dark side of the moon. We'll have to drive there. Let's take the moon car. Let's go! So, the astronauts drove their moon car to the movie theater. We should reach the dark side of the moon any second now. Uh-oh! It's too dark! I can't see where I'm going! Let's turn on the headlights! The button is right here on the dashboard. Every car has a dashboard. It's where you turn on and off all the stuff in the car. Headlights on! That's better. Now we can see the road. Hey, do you hear something, astronaut Nani? Moon monkeys! I think we lost them. We better get to the movie theater. So the astronauts went to look for the movie theater, when suddenly... Uh-oh! I can hardly see anything. The windshield wipers. That's better. Moon monkeys! Control of the ship! Lieutenant Gobi, pull up! Now! Oh, no! Some landing. I just have one question. What are you gonna do with all this trash? We're going to recycle it, of course. That means we're gonna make new things out of it. Oh, wow. Really? Yep. We'll show ya. <laughs> Recycling complete, Captain. Ooh, what did you make? New bottles, more paper, a fleece jacket? Even better. Wow! A spaceship. Garbage Con, say hello to your very own spaceship. It's made entirely of recycled materials. You made that out of our trash? Yep. I'm sorry, what now? They're saying thank you. We all are. From now on, we're gonna be the best recyclers in the galaxy. <laughs> and so, Garbage Con and his crew set off to recycle all over the galaxy. And the crew of the USS Recycler headed off for another adventure in outer space. There's the movie theater up ahead. What's wrong? 
wrong? Uh-oh. It looks like we're out of gas. Out of gas? Oh, monkeys! <laughs> oh! Hey, moon monkeys! What did he just say? I think he said, fill her up. Fill her up? Moon <laughs> <laughs> gas! All right! Thank you, moon monkeys. <laughs> and so, the moon monkeys gave the astronauts enough moon gas to drive to the movie theater. The movie started! Would anyone like some popcorn? <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Did you know there are rocks on the moon? On the moon? In outer space? Mm-hmm. I wish we had a telescope so we could look at outer space. Me too. Well, you don't have to have a telescope. You can see some things in outer space just by looking up. Really? Like what? Let's think about some things we can see in space. Today, Gobi saw the... That's right, the moon. And at night, you can look up at the sky and see lots of twinkling... Stars. Right, stars. And I know a star that you can also see during the day. It's big, bright, and warm, and it's called the... Sun. The sun is a star? Yep. The sun is just a regular star. It just looks bigger because it's closer to us than the other stars. Far out! In our solar system, everything keeps spinning around. Yeah, yeah! The planets in their orbits and the moon kind of our cosmic town. Jupiter is gassy and Venus is bright. Mercury's hot. for free play. Space Scoop Table! Space Scoop! <laughs> <laughs> it's sticky. Space Scoop. Space Scoop. Oh, man! Space Students. Uh-oh. Space Students. Space Students. 
Space students. Space students. Space students. Space students. Space students. That was a close one. Bleep, bleep, boop, boop. Attention, space students. Free play is now over. It's time to clean up. I repeat, it's time to clean up. Boop. And so, the space students went back to the classroom to clean up. What a mess! This is going to take forever to clean up. Help! 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 What happened? Stuck in space goo. <laughs> I am crying. <laughs> Aww. Don't cry, robot. We'll get you out of there. Thank you. And so, the space students helped the robot out of the space group. Thank you for helping me, space students. You're welcome, robot. I made a mess. In free play, it's okay to get a little messy. You just have to clean up after yourself. Clean up, clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. So the space students taught the robot how to clean up, and they all became really good friends. Rotten Tomato is here! <laughs> no! Please don't make our fruit run! Don't ruin our right produce. <laughs> Your what produce? Ripe. Ripe. Here, try some. That's... that's... so delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, what have I done? I don't want to make things rotten anymore. I want to make rotten things ripe. You can help us grow more fruits and vegetables if you want to. Yes! And so, Rotten Tomato and the Space Farmers became friends. And together, they grew the best produce in the galaxy. Everything is so perfectly ripe. Well, except for me. I'll always be rotten. <laughs> <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Do you want to come see us play in an orchestra? Great! Come on! On to the next song, yeah? One and two. <laughs> Come on now. One, two, three. Play your instruments, please. Flying saucer. I've got to get my camera. What do you think they want? I don't know. I think they want to play music with us. Hold your French horns. Uh-oh, we lost our conductor. We can't play together without a conductor. He's a conductor from outer space. Yeah, but where's his baton? Oh. 
on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.